Hi, my name is Derek Jan uit Boogaard and I'm a technical solutions architect at Cisco. Today, I would like to show you how easy it is to integrate WebEx devices with, for example, a virtual light bulb. So you may wonder why a virtual light bulb? In the past, I've done many demos at customer sites and I would often bring something like a Philips U bridge with me and two light bulbs and then show how easy it is to integrate with WebEx products. However, it's not always easy to get this particular device on the right network or in a situation where it has internet connection. Some people don't have a Philips U bridge lying around to do demos. So I tried to figure out a way to do these integration demos, but in an easier way. The result of that was a virtual light bulb. So virtual light bulb. How do you create this? You create it by talking to a WebEx bot, the virtual lamp bot. And when you say create, it will create a unique virtual lamp for you together with a URL so you can go to a web page and see the status of your lamp. And you can control it. Next, next you can use REST APIs to control the lamp. You can create a custom-made video macro to control the virtual lamp through a video system or use a Create a Postman collection that allows you to visually see the API calls in action. And as a bonus, you can use the bot itself to turn on, off, or toggle your virtual light bulb. Let's see how this works in action. So to do that, <clears throat> now I have a browser window. Um, so I use uh, the WebEx web client, which works just as well as the desktop client. And um, I'm going to talk to this bot. So I'm going to talk to the virtual lamp bot. And let's just say hi. Oh, that's nice. So when I say hi or say something, I'll get uh, an overview with help. And the first item on the help uh, list is create. So I'm going to type create to get a virtual lamp. This is now created. And I can um, copy this link and open it in this web browser. to see its status. If you look here, there uh, you see an info panel. When you click it, you get information about the virtual lamp, API calls, etc. So just for your, uh, for your information. And note that I can always use the web page itself to turn the lamp on and off by clicking on it. So next. We talked about uh, Postman, and Postman is a tool that makes API calls very visual and, and, and easier to understand. And it has a concept called collections, where somebody else can predefine API calls for you and share them with you. So I did this, and if I type Postman, the bot, the bot will create a custom Postman collection that has my virtual lamp ID embedded in it. Great. So let's download it. Save it. And I can now see this collection right there. The only thing we need is Postman. Guess what? 
This is the Postman tool and on the left side I can add collections. In this case I want to import it and click import. I drag the file, hit import again and the collection will now be available to me. That means I can do instant API calls without having to configure anything. And the first thing you see on the list is status. When I click status, you see the API call, the variable that has your virtual LAMP ID in it, and I hit send to make the call. As a result, I can see the LAMP state is on. That's true. If I use the web page to turn it off and rerun this API call, it should be turned off. And we can see that is right. Uh, another API call here we see is the toggle call. And before hitting send, I'll first enable the Pulling of the status and hit send. So now it toggles, toggles the lamp, turns it on. I click it again and it turns it off. I could also use the dedicated on API call. And when I click it, the lamp is switched back on. Nice. So I could also, and we go back to the bot. Just typing help, I can also use the bot to say toggle. And this will toggle the lamp, and as you can see, it switches it off. Or I basically say on to turn on the lamp and back off to turn it off. I typically like to turn it off because it saves energy. You should not keep lamps on all the time, especially if it's bright like right now. Nice. So we have seen the bot as well. Obviously, I can type status to see, to get the current status of the lamp. Another option that I talked about in the beginning is the video device macro. So to do this, I type macro and the bot will generate a custom macro for me that includes my virtual lamp ID. So let's download this macro, save it. And I've prepared a connection to my video unit. So this is the user, uh, the admin interface. And to import the macro, I go to the macro editor. I click import from file. I select the macro, click Upload, and as you can see, my virtual lamp ID is embedded in this macro. I can now save the macro to store it, and then click this Enable button to turn on to activate the macro. And what it does, as soon as it activates, it will create a user interface for you. It will create this button that appears on the main screen. So let's see what that looks like. Right there, you have a button which toggles the lamp. So let's start polling again on the lamp and then click the virtual lamp button. And as you can see, I can turn it on and off. Another thing that I could do, I could also, in an existing panel, drag a button, call, call it virtual lamp button, and that is important. I give it a name, I publish it, and then I go to the GUI. And as you can see, I have a button here now, and I can click it, and this button will also toggle the lamp. So again, let's turn it off.
Cool, is it? So easy to integrate it. So if you have any feedback uh, or, or need support for this, uh, talk to the bot and type feedback plus, um, well, your feedback. Um, so you can also use this to ask questions. In order for me to do things like these videos, uh, little proof of concepts, it is important for me that you let me know if you liked it. So if you like it, go to the bot and type like. So if the two questions, power consumption. Um, well, these lamps are very, very user-friendly, very little energy. And um, if your lamp breaks, I will replace them for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So to summarize, we have an always accessible lamp. We manage it via the bot and it's great to do demos. Demos of video integration, uh, bot integration. But the main thing, the main thing about all of this is this lamp represents any controllable device or process. Think about that. I mean, this lamp is now a virtual lamp that I control through my video device. It could also be ordering sandwiches or coffee in a meeting room. It could also be scheduling a new meeting room, extending the meeting room booking, uh, calling security. And you can also use it to launch processes, business processes. So think about that. More information and resources can be found here. Um, so please go there. I will note the URLs separately as well. And for now, I would like to thank you for your time and hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.